For three years, out of key with his time, he strove to resuscitate the dead art of poetry, to maintain the sublime in the old sense. Wrong from the start. No, hardly, but seeing he'd been born in a half-savage country out of date, bent resolutely on wringing lilies from the acorn, cap and ass, trout for factitious bait, Eid men gartai panthos and itraye caught in the unstopped ear, giving the rocks small leeway, and the chopped seas held him there for that year. His true Penelope was Flaubert. He fished by obstinate isles, observed the elegance of Circe's hair rather than the mottoes on sundials. Unaffected by the march of events, he passed from men's memory in Lantarant Uniem to Sonneage. The case presents no adjunct to the muse's diadem. The age demanded an image of its accelerated grimace, something for the modern stage, not at any rate an attic grace. Not, not certainly the obscure reveries of the inward gaze, better mendacities than the classics and paraphrase. The age demanded chiefly a mold and plaster made with no loss of time, a prose kinema, not, not assuredly alabaster or the sculptor of rhyme. The tea rose, tea gown, etc., supplants the mousseline of Kos. The pianola replaces Sappho's Barbatos. Christ follows Dionysus, phallic and ambrosial, made way for macerations. Caliban casts out Ariel. All things are flowing, sage Heraclitus says. But a tawdry cheapness shall outlast our days. Even the Christian beauty defects after Samothrace. We see Tokalon decreed in the marketplace. Fawn's flesh is not to us, nor the saint's vision. We have the press for wafer, franchise for circumcision. All men in law are equals. Free of persistratus, we choose a neighbor and eunuch to rule over us. O bright Apollo, Tinandra, Tinaro, Tinartheon, what god, man, or hero shall I place a tin or wreath upon? These fought in any case, and some believing, pro domo in any case, some quick to arm, some for adventure, some from fear of weakness, some from fear of censure, some for love of slaughter in imagination, learning later, some in fear, learning love of slaughter. Died some pro patria, non dolce, non et decor. Walked I deep in hell, believing in old men's lies, then unbelieving. Came home, home to a lie, home to many deceits, home to old lies and new infamy, usually age old and age thick and liars in public places. Daring as never before, wastage as never before, Young blood and high blood, fair cheeks and fine bodies, fortitude as never before, frankness as never before, disillusions as never told in the old days, hysterias, trench confessions, laughter out of dead bellies. There died a myriad and were the best among them for an old bitch gone in the teeth, for a botched civilization. Charm, smiling at the good mouth, quick eyes gone under earth's lid. For two gross of broken statues, for a few thousand battered books.